morning friends it is sunday morning and we are headed to church i've got lori right over here and i am right over here and we are headed and i'm going to video a little bit around the church and show you something about the te television show nashville if you've ever seen the show it's shot some of it was shot in our church in fact uh in the first season and then they have sound stages all around our church so we're going to take a look today stay tuned so friends, the Tennessee Titans play right up the road today, and you see that they put a sign up that says game day drinking and driving not a smart play. I agree. All right, friends, so what you see here is the set of the TV show Nashville. If you see the sign, uh, I'm, I'm trying to fly down so I, I could get a better look at the sign, but I can't see cars coming, so I don't want to get in the road. And there's power lines there, so I can't really get much uh, closer to it. But there's a brown sign right there, and it says Nashville. And it's the TV show, and you can see there's a guard shack there to the right but I'm looking at the trees to see if I can get ahead of them to try to drop down in there. But uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to drop too far down in there and get too good a shot of it uh, for fear that a vehicle will come by. Because in order for me to get directly in front of it, I'm gonna have to be lower than a transfer truck would be. And if a truck happened to come through there, he hits my drone and that's the end of that. So this is one part of the show is right here. And then I'm going to fly you over. They've got sound stages here that uh, you see on the TV show. Uh, they've got a concert stage over at the other place. But these sound stages uh, are remakes or, or duplicates of a lot of uh, famous places in town, including, including the Bluebird Cafe, because they do a lot of stuff at the Bluebird but it is not actually the real bluebird. It's actually in these buildings. So we're gonna fly over to the other building and take a little look-see. And I'm closer and closer to that sign every, every time. There it goes right there. So let's go to the other building. All right, and I'm gonna fly over a building. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it has something to do with the government. It's supposed to be a secret, I think. But this giant building that you see right here is actually where the big sound stages are. And there's other businesses in there as well. There's a sound check is in on the right hand side. Sound check used to be down by the river and they got flooded back uh, when the floods happened. I guess it had been 2010 or 2011. And uh, that's where Brad Paisley's guitars and Keith Urban and a lot of those guys had all their equipment there because that's where they 
stored their stuff when they weren't on the road and a lot of guitars got destroyed. And you can also see all these, uh, a lot of these vehicles are movie related or TV show related vehicles. You can see like those red trucks on the left are ones that they would use for camera equipment, that kind of stuff. They have these trailers out there for the stars so they have places to stay uh, in between uh, takes and that kind of stuff. And you can see there's movie vehicles on the right, there's white trucks. And I'm just going to go down here and turn around. And then they also have some vehicles that are marked uh, like for their news channel that they use, which is a fake news channel for, for the city of Nashville. They've got police cars that are marked, that are their police cars that they use to shoot scenes and that sort of thing. And you'll see those when we circle back, you'll see those actually on the right hand side. And I don't get real close to them because there's a guard shack up there as well. And so I'm trying not to disturb anybody or, or bother anybody. I just want to show you what's here. And I think it's interesting stuff. Uh, and I think there's even some transfer trucks here. They go out and do concerts now, some of the stars of the show. And you can see I, somebody's name. I could read it just passed by in a giant generator right there or air conditioner. But you'll see the police cars coming up on the right as well as the news van. Uh, they're right at the end of the row on the far right, and there's two police cars which are not really uh, Nashville police cars, and that news van right there is not real. And that's the guard shack that I'm looking down on. And uh, they actually taped, the first season, they actually used our church, which is right around the corner. They used our, the, the front room that you come into the church, they used that for one of the campaign headquarters. And we used to, when we would go to church, we couldn't touch anything. We'd have to ease through there and go into the church. But they used our, uh, the front room that you go into at the church as the, uh, for part of the TV show. So there's a little trivia for you, friends. And uh, we'll move on to something else. Stay tuned. So if you look right there in the distance, that place with the gray trailers in the front is the main set of the TV show Nashville. And that is downtown Nashville right there. They are that close together, friends. So Laurie and I are having lunch at Panera and uh, I saw something that I thought was funny. I'm going to zoom in on it in just a moment, but I'll show you Lori. I'm going to zoom in on this. This is a woman holding a baguette, a painting. So I'm going to zoom in and let you see, friends. That's funny. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's funny. There it is, friends, the baguette lady of the Hendersonville Panera Bread. There she is in all of her glory, just as like Mona Lisa. If you turn your shower on one day and you notice that it's a lot more powerful than it used to be, turn your bathtub on. Water's a lot more powerful than it used to be. If you notice that your ice maker's making a funny noise all of a sudden one day and then it quits, it will not operate. That's another clue. If your toilet starts uh, making noise, dripping, doing weird stuff, and you have to change out some of the guts in here, you have to change some things. That's another clue. If you just start noticing general, if you start noticing general uh, uh, plumbing issues around the house, leaking faucets that weren't leaking before, ice maker making a funny noise, shower harder than, than normal, uh, bathtub harder than normal, then you got a problem and let me show you what it is. Alright friends, so the issue is this whole house pressure regulator. This is the incoming line from the street. You can see we have a ball valve where we, we can turn the, the water off coming from the, from the city if you will goes through the pressure regulator and goes up into the plumbing. Uh, and you can see where it has leaked. It's not pouring, but it is leaking. So whenever you have things like showers that get harder, a lot more pressure, uh, toilets that start leaking, um, faucets that start leaking, you gotta, you gotta go look at this. Now, I went to uh, my local hardware store Lowe's and bought one. So we're going to install it. Stay tuned, friends. So there you are, friends, a completed pressure regulator. There is the old one right there. 
and there is the new one right there done deal and not just hot tubs friends pressure regulators too and i'm going to change the uh, faucet in the sink if i can do it you can do it vlog over